The newest versions of the JSON web platforms uh, also support Amazon AWS EMR as a platform for which is being monitored and um, security user behavior analysis applied to it. Uh, I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like. Uh, it's very simple. It's all out of the box. There's nothing you can do. This is true both for uh, the SaaS version, the DBSec 2.0, which is what I'm going to show you, as well as the on-prem DCAP Central system. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my um, EMR system um, and uh, kind of all the services are, are supported whether it's um, uh, Hive or HBase or HDFS or, or since it's EMR uh, if you're using a um, non-ephemeral uh, file system that's going to be stored on S3 through EMRFS and so for example if I do uh, HDFS uh, DFS dash LS but I give it a uh, an endpoint on S3 um, okay so I have a uh, certain file system over here uh, which is sitting on on S3 uh, um, I am accessing it through the command line in this case but it doesn't really matter even if I access it through any other uh, tool. This is what I have there. Uh, I'll, I'll cat uh, this file. Um, so yo text. I'll change it to um, dash cat to see the content of that file. And so those are a few examples of uh, queries or accesses to the files directly on the file system. Um, I'll also run a few queries through you. In this case, what I'll do is I'll go into um, kind of these are all of the uh, services that I have running. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Hive. I have a little test table over here. Uh, not very, uh, not very uh, impressive set of data. Just to show you what that looks like, uh, you know. So I run a query like this or um, I'll do a count or I'll do a it takes a little bit of time just because uh, it's not a very strong machine um, right, so, so any query that I do through Hive is also being captured um, and so the way it works is back on the JSON system whether it's an on-prem system or a um, or a uh, SaaS version of the system uh, there are a bunch of cloud sources cloud sources could be AWS cloud sources Azure cloud sources or GCP cloud sources because this is EMRFS is an AWS cloud source and then uh, all the data gets blended together alongside with all of your enterprise databases that you're monitoring through any uh, d database security product uh, or using native logging or whatnot and so what I'll do is I'll go to instance which is where the uh, queries are being captured and so you'll see if I <coughs> if I look at all of the uh, um, services that I'm capturing, you'll see there's Hadoop services, there's Hive services. If I look at the at the Hive access, for example, um, that have happened in the last uh, 15 minutes, um, then you know I'll be able to see, for example, which uh, which objects and verbs were were touched and even all the way down to the to the full SQL so you can see this is the first command that I did select star from the test table and the second one that I did was uh, select count star from uh, default test table and 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 if you look inside you'll see a lot more detail you know such as uh, who did it um, where it came from uh, in this case, uh, the way we're capturing this is through a ranger audit. 
Um, and so that's all built in and part of the standard Apache stack. Um, so you get full visibility into anything that's happening regardless of the service. If I, if I, if I do, um, if I look at, at services, like if I get rid of this, then um, I'm going to get other types of services. You know, for example, I get all of the access that Spark is making uh, on my system and, and, and really every service that exists. Um, the, the, the EMRFS uh, is something that uh, looks a little bit different, right? Because, it, because this is very specific and very special to, um, uh, to uh, AWS EMR, right? They've, they've built their own drivers that access S3. Um, and, and so that comes up as an S3 AWS um, service name and you can see here by the way that this 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 uh, particular SAS version is not only uh, connected and capturing data from EMRFS it's also capturing data from Oracle DB2 um, but if I filter and look only on what's happening on um, on the on from an EMRFS perspective and I open this then you'll see all the details Right, I mean, there's a uh, uh, the the object that I read was Yoda text. Yoda text exists in the bucket called an ADMR test. Um, I get all the ARN. I get I get the the program with which the access was done. So a lot of detail, a uh, lot of information. Information that is, uh, you know, if I add the objects and verbs, um, then you'll see up here that um, you know like if I add ob objects and verbs you'll see exactly that there was a get on yo.txt and so you know all the data is normalized in the same way for data access regardless if it's a database if it's uh, through EMRFS through Hive etc etc um, so hopefully you get uh, the idea uh, it's just a a full support for uh, EMR in the most straightforward and natural way uh, for more information, please visit uh, jsonar.com. Thank you.